Have you ever had a situation and you run it by someone and once they start with their comments, you regret it and you wish they would just be quiet? You almost want to go, la, 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 I don't hear you. If that's happened to you, stay with me. Find something you cannot afford to pay for. It's happened to it. Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. Today's video is about how to trust your own gut. We all fall prey to this and I'm guilty as charged. I am a Virgo and empath, a very sensitive lady and I love hard. I'm loyal and um when I trust you, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not going to BS you, which is a fault of mine, to be honest, because some people don't even deserve your information. But by me being so honest, this is where I get tripped up. So if someone says, how are you? How have you been? Eh, within reason, I'll tell them the truth. It depends on who they are. Some people, yeah, no, won't say, won't say much. <laughs> But it's a little bit unfortunate that when you do tell your innermost problems, that sometimes people are, they're not very kind with your information. And game over on that one for me. I'm just not doing it no more. I am not perfect by no stretch of imagination. But what I do believe in is peace. And I come in peace. I try to be, bring good energy to a room. When I'm at the store, I try to be kind to the cashier. I just can't let people no longer bring negativity to me. And I'm a therapist. I help others. I have had some problems. And guess what? I go and talk to a therapist. So I work on myself. I do my work. So I pay the price to have this peace. And I can't let anyone disrupt it. I don't care who they are. And that's where I'm at in life now. And it sure feels good. So I want you to do the same if you're struggling in this area. Trust your gut. And some of the problem all of us have is anxiety over our future. I know I do at times with certain things. And it can get the best of me. And that will cause me, cause me to run my mouth. And I have to work on that. And I'm working on that. Things that do help me to trust my gut more and help me to be a lot more quiet and to just stay in the now is when I meditate. I journal every day, so I nail that one. I do do that. and But when I meditate, it just really helps. And I'm kind of sloppy with it. I'll do it, and then I'll stop. I'll do it, and then I'll stop. Another part that I'm dealing with is a little bit of um, being overwhelmed because I work two jobs and I don't work two jobs for money per se. Um, it's nice to have a little extra, but as many of you know that have been following me, I went back to school and became a social worker and I graduated in 2018, but I'm not up to speed with full-time pay. So I work in HR and I do my social work, therapist work part-time. But it's actually working out very well. But I can experience a little bit of burnout. Because of this type of energy that I'm putting off, it causes a lot of people to want to hang out with me. It's a blessing, you all. I, I got to be a little bit more humble over this. And I need to be more gracious and grateful. But people, they always want me to go out with them, come have a drink, or let's have dinner. And it becomes overwhelming because I'm working six days a week. And I love hanging out with my kids. My kids are my nieces and great nephews. My one great nephew who is six is a star basketball player. So it's really important to me to support him most weeks or some weeks. So that's a big part of my weekend. So between that and chores and paying bills and taking care of myself, 
I don't have much time, so sometimes I have to decline. But I want you all to work on your inner being, work on your gut. And pretty much what I go with with most things, it's like I do a stranger danger type thing. If it don't feel right, I'm not doing it. If I'm somewhere and it feels dangerous, like somebody, maybe a dangerous or suspicious person, I'm out of there. If I go on a job interview and the energy is just bad, I don't want the job. I don't even care how much they pay, whatever, whatever. I'm good. I'm good. So those are the type of ways I use my gut. Um, if I apply for a job or think I'm going to, I'll read the description like two or three times. If it feels weird, I'm like, mm, something don't seem right, or it may say a lot of traveling or different things that I'm not interested in, I don't apply. And that's what I go with. I don't seek out answers from other people. I might run something by a couple of my friends. Like, I have to be honest, I go to the ones who are a little bit, like, not just like me, but more risk takers. I'll say that. They're a risk taker. Those are some of the friends I might run something by. If somebody's scary, or I shouldn't even say scary, if they play it safe or they're more rigid, I don't go to them for advice because they're going, they're not going to know what to tell me because they don't even take risks. So how would they know? <laughs> but um, <laughs> just go with how it feels. If it don't feel right, it's because it's not right. And trust your gut. I love my friends. I love my family. But I'm almost 50 years old. My patience is like out the window. And I don't want to be disrespectful or hurtful to anyone. So that's why I go silent. I go inward. I've been reading my Bible more and praying. And I'm still, hmm, I'm in a place, a space. Um, and for many of you who don't know, I kind of don't really say it. I had a breakup earlier this year, a most beautiful relationship. And it really, it messed me up a little bit. Um, I would say February through June, it was some dark days. And I definitely was down. But I'm better now. Not 100%. But you know what? Even the things we think are so bad, this beauty at the end of the line. And I was just hearing something on YouTube. Romans 8, 28. All things work for good, for those that love the Lord. All things, not some, not 50%, not 75%, not 90%, all. So even when it feels bad, if you believe, like I believe, at the end, you will win. So trust your gut. Don't run and talk to all these people. Trust your gut, because the answers lie within. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you all always for watching. I wish I could be on here more, but because of my crazy schedule, it can hinder me from making videos. And I try to do good videos. I'm not where I want to be yet, but I come from my heart. So hopefully you can feel that I'm sincere. And I tell you the stuff I go through and have gone through. And like I always say, my hope is that my trials and tribulations can help you. Trust your gut. Bye-bye.